Welcome back. You're watching Biz Lounge, and we're with the head of Intel in India today. And now, here's a look at how Devjani spends some of her downtime with family. I grew up in a very large family, a joint family consisting of lots of brothers, cousins, and uh, I was the youngest with around 12 older brothers. So childhood has been super fun. You know, absolutely, it was like I had my own kingdom with loyal subjects. <laughs> Lately, I've got so addicted to social networking, especially Twitter, you know. The moment I'm off, those two hours vanish because I'm on Twitter and it's gone. My body clock switches off, so in weekends I can sleep through 48 hours <laughs> without a problem. You know, it's sort of, my body realizes Saturday has come. I'm a gym person. I have to get to the gym at least three, four times a week. If not, I fall sick. So weekends is when I try to do as much of that, or go for a swim, love swimming, go for a walk, um, catch up with friends. Um, I usually try to take time off at least twice a year and uh, go off somewhere. Um, I like to discover new places and I also like to go back to my favorite ones. Uh, Vietnam and Bali being two of my most favorite destinations. She was a daughter who was always besides me, us. She knew what she has to do and what she doesn't have to do. Usually I get to spend time with her really only on the weekends. So there's so much to catch up on. All the building gossip and what's happening where and you know, family gossip and what's happening with who. We had very disciplined life, you know. Uh, eating at on time and going to sleep on time, study on time, come back home, yeah. <laughs> no party shati after 11. <laughs> what you know of. <laughs> Debjani, you traveled a lot during your childhood, mm -hmm. lived in a lot of different places. Mm -hmm. Tell us about where you lived and what that experience was like living in so many different countries as a child. The best experience ever. I mean, that yeah. was the best childhood ever. Um, the dad was uh, responsible for setting up factories. Hmm. So once a factory would be set up and you know it was running, he would move on to the next one. Hmm. So that's why we sort of moved all over. We, he was in, in the glass segment. A large hmm. part of what I remember was in Africa. Mm -hmm. um, and it was just amazing. My Teenage year, years were spent in Kenya, mm -hmm. in this little place called Mombasa, mm -hmm. um, to go to a beautiful school, tremendous friends, but most of all what I really loved was the wildlife and the ability to interact with nature and, you know, uh, go out and spend time in animal orphanages and stuff. I mean, that, mm -hmm. I was crazy about animals, still am. But otherwise we've been all over Europe. Um, Africa, mostly that part of the world. Mm -hmm. Okay, any one memorable experience that kind of sticks out from that, uh, from that time? Um, you know, in, in Africa, we had, a, we had a very large house, which was right at the edge of a cliff. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember one day we woke up and dad was standing outside and he said, uh, come, come, I'll show you all something. And we went out and half our garden had gone down. Because then we had a landslide and we had a huge garden. So I think that, that I remember, because I was like so shocked. Never knew something like that could happen, you know. It was like half the garden. And I, my only thought was, what if the house was on that side? And dad said, there's no what ifs in life. You know? <laughs> it's all, house isn't in that side. That's a fact. Right. So move on. <laughs> Don't worry. Like that I clearly remember. And the second one, I think I was again in Africa that I was very, very amazed by was Benson. He was our Man Friday sort of, you know, he used mm -hmm. to, uh, he was the helper. And one day he came with these three women and he came to introduce us. And he was a lovely guy. He came to introduce them. And he said, wife one, wife two, wife three. <laughs> I will never forget that moment. I was like, totally, what? How does that work? And then I, I must have been, what, 11, 12. And I remember the first question I asked right after they left was, so does that mean you can also have husband one, husband two, and husband three? And my mother was very, very, no, you cannot. <laughs> 
If you had to evacuate your house immediately, what's the one thing that you would grab on your way out? Passport and my laptop, two things. <laughs> and if you had to spend a day without using any technology, what would you do? Sleep. Uh, there's nothing I can do. I would just sleep. <laughs> and if and when you decide to retire, what would you do with your time? Um, go back to my passion, education. I'm very, um, come from a family of educators. And um, it's, it's been a dinner topic pretty much all my life, you know. Um, and I really value what teachers do and um, uh, what what we can do with education, especially in this country. Mm -hmm. So in some way, and I don't know what it will be, but I definitely know that in some way or the other, I'll, I'll figure out a way to do something in that segment. Mm -hmm. If you could predict someone's future, whose future would you predict and why? I'd love to predict my future. <laughs> really, that's the only one that I would really like to predict. And if you were ever in trouble, who's the one person you would call for help and why? Well, it used to be my father, I'm very close to him. I lost him very recently, but wherever I am, no matter what time of the day, no matter what kind of trouble, but we were, we were friends, we were like best of friends. So he was just a phone call away from me at all points in time. Like, you know, in time. I don't know, today I really don't know yeah. because that's such a big loss for me. And yeah. uh, I have a lot of friends, but um, no, I don't think there's that one person I would, you know, that one person's gone. You have your mom. I have so, my mom. Yeah. So tell us some of your favorites now. Your Winter. favorite season? Winter. Your favorite TV show? Homeland. Mm -hmm. Doesn't let me sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and your favorite actor or actress? Denzel Washington. Just crazy about him. And since you're a travel buff, if you were given the chance to travel somewhere in space, in where would space. you choose to go? I haven't gone anywhere in space, so <laughs> any, anything would be fine. But um, since they say women are from Venus, I think that would be my choice. Yeah, good one. <laughs> Okay, well, we're out of time now, but it was so nice to have you on the show. Thanks we for love joining you us. To you. Thanks. Thank you. And that's it for today. We'll see you next time on Biz Lounge.